I V M. अजीत अजीत बहुत जोर से एक गाना आ रहा है आ, करो फिर गाना आ, वो सुना है वो बहुत ही ग्लोबल हिट है ये गाना जो आज आ, इसको मैं बिल्कुल खराब करने वाला हूँ और इस गाने को बोलते हैं आई तनवी लाड़िए नी मेरा सवैया वाला खिला बन आया ये सुना है ये इसमें हिंट लग रही है हमारे नेक्स्ट गेस्ट के बारे में अच्छा ये तो पिता ही नहीं चला किसी को हाँ आई मीन लिस्नर ने एपिसोड टाइटल तो देखा ही नहीं और यूट्यूब पे तो बिल्कुल देख ही नहीं रहे तनवी को तो बिल्कुल भी ब्लाइंड पीपल तो तो पीपल जो सुन रहे हैं जो देख रहे हैं सभी देखने वालों और देख सुनने वालों श्रोतागनों को और वीडियो वालों क्या बोलते हैं जो देखते हैं देखने वालों का हार्दिक अभिनंदन है इस टोन में इसलिए बोला है मैंने क्योंकि मोस्टली डी डी वन और ये सरकारी चैनल्स पे आज जब ओलंपिक्स होता है तो लोग ऐसी तरीके से बातें करते हैं दर्शकों में हर्षोल्लास क्योंकि वी हैव टुडे तनवी लाड तालियां 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 बड़े ही लाड और नाजों से पाला है <laughs> अब ये गंदा जो क्योंकि हमने मारना था तो हमने मार लिया है हेलो तनवी वेलकम वेलकम टू द शो तनवी हाय सदा हाय अर्जित uh thank Hello. you for having me on the show i think um, i'm one of those sports persons actually most most indian sports persons are foodies and are sports persons so it's a delicate balance there so uh, really happy to be on this food podcast awesome yeah i don't know how sports people become food people uh, but we will get into that as well <laughs> because Before, they can burn all, all that no day. because you're so deprived oh. of like you have to always eat right and all those all the jazz so yeah i mean food is life so why not sappa isliye main kabhi matlab sports personality discuss to fekta ne disc ha discuss fekta tha bachpan mein discuss to kabaddi khelta tha kyunki i was really heavy weight to jo bhi heavy weight ka kaam tha na main karta tha खैर तो और आप डिस्कस करते हो आप डिस्कस करते हो थ्रो करते हो थ्रो देम आउट विद द हॉरिबल जोक्स लेट अस फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस तनवी एंड आई थिंक एवरी वन नोस अबाउट तनवी लेकिन ऐसे ये लखकुल रीत सदा चली आई कि गेस्ट को इंट्रोड्यूस करना होता है सो तनवी इज of course an indian badminton player every the world knows about her she represented india in 2014 in incheon asian games she came second in croatian international tournament in 2019 matlab lockdown hone se pehle hi inhone apna aise padak jeet ke ghar pe baith gaye presently ranked uh, i think 116 if i'm not yeah, wrong yeah. and in 2017 tanvi was ranked 49 in world ranking and was the third best ranked women single player from india after pv sindhu and saina nehwal to aaj to bilkul star studded um, guest aaye hain hamare paas archit kya bolte ho are you wrong about us you and i hum to <laughs> hum to doop pe sita rahe hain hum tare zameen par hain hum tare zameen par hain तनवी है उनका से उड़ा उड़ा के जो मालती हैं तो उछलते हुए तारे खैर तनवी जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट इंट्रोडक्शन आई मीन यू कुड हैव जस्ट सेड होस्ट है मिलेनियल एथलीट की होस्ट है ये इंट्रोडक्शन देने की जरूरत नहीं थी मे बी डोंट प्रमोट कंपटीशन वी डोंट प्रमोट पॉडकास्ट या सॉरी प्लीज वी वांट पीपल टू कम आवर पॉडकास्ट या व्हाई डू यू थिंक वी हैव कॉल्ड ऑल द फैंसी फेमस पीपल लाइक यू ताकि लोग कम टू आवर पॉडकास्ट या थोड़े से मिलेंगे ना थी वी डोंट ओलंपिक्स का हैशटैग तो यही था ना स्ट्रांगर टुगेदर सो बढ़ेंगे साथ में बढ़ेंगे दैट वाज वेरी शटल वेरी शटल तो ऐसे हम क्या बोलते हैं पंजाबी फफे फफे मारते रहेंगे और एक बात तनवी व्हाई डिड यू चूज टू बिकम अ बैडमिंटन प्लेयर लेकिन ऐसी क्या जबरदस्ती थी ज्यादा बचपन में आई थिंक एनर्जी वाज टू मच माय मदर रियली थॉट आई टू लिटरली गो टू द स्विमिंग पूल एंड रन नॉट नॉट लाइक रिफ्यूज टू जंप इन लाइक आई टू बी रनिंग अराउंड द स्विमिंग पूल सो माई मम रियली थॉट शी इज गो नॉट डाई so i mean there was too much energy it had to be channelized so i was put into badminton tennis uh swimming um everything everything possible just so that i was off her hands and um, even when i used to go my mom used to play 
uh, at the gym khana uh, she used to play a bit of badminton so i used to go and sit there with my tiffin box and uh, the the racket was that that time you know it was taller than i was so i used to be attempting to hit and always like i had too much energy running around the court you know make a mess with the shuttles so my mom enrolled me for badminton coaching like 2 hours again off my hands uh one summer camp and yeah i think that's where it all started uh one thing led to another as you um the thing about sport is it's very addictive and as a person i was uh very ambitious as a kid also like uh, i remember going to birthday parties and you know the the big balloon with all the sweets inside it that's burst the koi bag i used to um you know literally be so competitive that the moment it was burst you know like push everyone and try and accumulate as much as possible and then give distribute it to everyone so i had no interest in the actual sweets but it was more about the competitiveness so that translated very early on into uh, even in 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 sport whether it was inter school tournaments maharashtra state level tournaments it was a step by step kind of progress you play you start with district events then once you are number 1 in your district and in your city then you try and compete in maharashtra state once you're good in maharashtra state then you play the all india tournaments and then finally at the age of 15 i made it to the indian team so it was a very step by step kind of thing there were hard breaks there were some good moments some bad moments but i think that competitive nature in me uh, that if you you know har gaye to next day come back to the drawing board and push harder uh, rework okay. like i couldn't accept defeat i didn't like to be a loser and that is basically the inherent my inherent quality which i think has been uh, yeah that's basically helped me along this journey ek minute you said age 15 Yes, age age yeah, age 15. तो मैं ऐसे गोलू मोलू साहब द ओनली थिंग आई वॉज बरीड वॉज माई हाइट दैट वॉज द ओनली थिंग आई वॉज बरीड क्या मैं लंबा नहीं हो पाऊंगा यार और दाढ़ी नहीं आई फिफ्टीन पे That's why you're doing a podcast about food, and she's doing a podcast about athletes. Oh, oh. <laughs> very shuttle. <laughs> below the belt, mala hai apne below the belt. Allowed nahi hai sir below the belt. Upa chahe, upa chahe, upa chahiye. Acha. I, I, I'm also very competitive, you know. But I recently won the gold medal in the Puri badminton tournament where I was competing against my 55-year-old dad and uh, 53-year-old mother. So, same. What's your favorite It's food? May I ask, Arshit? Is it? Puri. Chole puri. <laughs> It's not. Pani, It's pani not. Puri, chole puri, uh, banana puri. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think since since I've been four years old, I've heard all of them. Like I've heard, I've been called aloo puri because I was fat as well. So, uh, yeah. Keep keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> Tanvi, um, we did our research, okay, and uh, we have we as in Alchit did it, not me. Uh, so the joke is on him, <laughs> literally and figuratively, whatever it is. Uh, lard means uh, fat. I said lard, not lard. So R Achha, is silent. Achha. Lard means uh, fat. Fat means snee. So snee means love. So लेकिन क्लियरली बचपन में आपके साथ किसी ने लव वव नहीं किया था उसे पीछा छुड़ाया अम्मा ने कि भाई निकलो यहाँ से काफी इतनी एनर्जी वनर्जी है इसको निकाल लेकिन लाडली तो मैं थी घर पे बिकॉज एज अलेवन ऑलमोस्ट एन इलेवन ईयर एज गैप बिटवीन माई ओल्डर सिस्टर एंड मी सो आई वॉज दैम्पर्ड बहुत लाड प्यार दिया था एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो लाइक वेरी वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ फूड फ्रॉम दी फ्रॉम दी एज ऑफ लाइक फॉर एवर I can I can't think of a time when I was never not hungry. I loved sweets. Uh I was every second week at the dentist so I always had cavities. Um fo- mm. like the biggest foodie even even today like I'm called the dustbin in the house because everyone finishes <laughs> but it's it's always he- now it's like super healthy food. All the sabzis that are left mm. over will be in my plate. Uh but mm. uh, yeah I mean traditionally been a foodie so Uh, when, when did you when did you stop uh, you know indulging so much and decided that you have to focus on your badminton career and perhaps get a nutritionist 15 saal ki umar mein nahi actually um, so i think the only like traditionally always eaten pretty healthy uh, maharashtrians mm-hmm. don't really eat at home also like very rich food or uh, it's always yeah. pretty like uh, very satvik food from the start uh, i think the only mm-hmm. thing i was very fond of was sugar and that is uh, something that has is still till, still till, till today it's continued 
like it's just a habit you finish a meal and i like want to put some things you can be made of freaking dates or anjeer ka something mm. but i i need that something sweet at the end it's just a feel good factor i yeah. think at the end of the day yeah um yeah and and we are on same page for that <laughs> so that is something Meet that um i've had to bin sugar is something it's like a drug uh we're told this mm. and now it's yeah. just it's become like a subconscious thing where sugar the moment you don't give it to your body it's just going to keep craving for it and as an athlete it, it messes with recovery it messes with inflammation uh if you have you know a bowl of ice cream and go to sleep you're probably going to be lazy and slow in the morning so sugar is something i mean during um an event like uh at say an 11 points interval or uh, when you need that glucose that's exactly what is going to be fueling your long rallies and so you use it as fuel you use sugar smartly mm-hmm. but uh, mm-hmm. in your meals or in your post match recovery or you know as a dessert we kind of try and stay away from sugar and cake mm-hmm. and the rich stuff as much as possible this is exactly why sadaf is not at the olympics right now <laughs> uh, doing a discus throw <laughs> because yahan par ye tanvi ke sath uh, discussion karna tha na ha uh-huh. priorities man priorities, yeah, yeah. And, and a a little birdie uh, told us very secretly on on this podcast actually publicly that you experimented with veganism yeah i did we won't we won't reveal who that birdie okay. was uh, you have to guess <laughs> i think it was uh, my my uh, very vocal co-host <laughs> let's all the cats know that we don't we don't know <laughs> तो बिकॉज वी आर ऑलरेडी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वीगनिज्म एंड मोस्ट रिसेंटली एंड इट इज बाई द वे फॉर पीपल लिटिल बर्ड इट ऑफकोर्स है एंड देन इट इज ऑल्सो ऑल ओवर द इंटरनेट सो यू कैन जस्ट टाइप दैन वी लार्ड एंड फूड एंड वीजनिज्म एंड ऑल दैट एंड यू विल सी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टोरीज कमिंग आउट एंड इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग फॉर लास्ट ईयर Throughout the pandemic, जी जी कौन 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 सवाल दो है पहला सवाल मेरा है ये वो ये है कि वीगनिज्म चुनने के पीछे वट वॉज अ रीजन बिकॉज लास्ट ईयर मीट वगैरह नहीं मिल रहा था इसलिए यू स्विच टू वीगनिज्म so um it was basically the period before uh two tournaments that i was playing so i had trained for almost 6 8 weeks ka training cycle tha a uh, lot of like weight training in the gym there was heavy on court work happening and i was eating my meat i was eating my eggs high mm. protein we told to have uh at least 1.5 grams of protein per kg of body weight and like uh, to meet that you know you need those eggs you need that chicken coming in every day so i was pretty much yeah. doing doing all, all of that following it to the t but um for some reason when i uh you know two weeks before my tournaments actually were to happen i uh, body just started rejecting it like it had been too many weeks of a high protein diet and low carb and all that jazz had happened mm-hmm. and i was uh, a little bit fed up so i was just like i'm going to eat you know now i'm getting into a match mode i want to uh, just eat light and feel happy about what i'm eating uh, that was what mm-hmm. what my priority was so i went off yeah. eating what my body was naturally rejecting um mm-hmm. i ended up recovering really well i was doing three sessions a day uh, i was recovering well mm-hmm. i was sleeping well uh, our session my first session of the mm-hmm. day used to start at uh, uh, 4:30 in the morning i was up at 3:45 without an alarm uh recovery was really good that sluggish heavy feeling was not there even through the tournaments that i played in lucknow it was a sayed modi grand prix and then uh came to bombay for another international tournament went to the us for another one like there were different time zones uh usually have an mm-hmm. issue with jet lag and with you know with the whole sluggishness that comes with different time zones and stuff absolutely not so i really it started off that way um i've always pretty much been lactose intolerant so milk was anyways not much in my like thoda sa dahi was the only thing that i was consuming in terms of dairy products um mm-hmm. but the main thing was meat and i've been a fish uh, being a saraswat brahmin fish is something that has been part of my diet uh, since forever 
um like i yeah. i don't enjoy my meat as much as uh, or my eggs that i eat by you know by force of having to eat it i really enjoy my fish mm. so that was something mm. that um has been a core part of my diet uh, my gene my ancestors have eaten a lot of fish and rice and that is something mm. that i love so i was missing that was the only thing probably that i was missing but um that's basically how veganism started and the whole ethical side of things uh you know i i was training under this uh, coach called tom john uh and you know mm-hmm. he was um, besides being you know a a great coach he was also a brilliant uh, chef a cook uh so mm-hmm. i used oh. to uh, very often accompany him to um, you know to buy chicken or to buy fish and the scenes at the at the fish market or you know literally seen those birds mm-hmm. being chopped like it used to i used to feel like it's like katal i'm doing uh, mm-hmm. i'm i'm committing a crime a murder by actually eating those animals mm-hmm. so you know there was a whole mm-hmm. ethical side and then i started reading a lot about veganism and the ethical side of things so uh, that was how the whole experiment started through the pandemic of course there was not much training happening so it was easier to follow mm. uh, but once mm. training picked up again um uh, i you know it i what almost a year and a half i think i followed it to the t um post the pandemic i remember buying this one fish i ordered a fish fillet what came was this entire uh, fish with scales and everything and i was alone in bangalore and sat and descaled it and took its intestines out and it, that again that put me off i was like i don't want to do this i do not want to commit this autopsy but <laughs> but gradually i um, my nutritionist asked me to start introducing eggs and a little bit of fish at least mm. into my diet because your b12 levels take a hit when you're training as much uh, there are certain nutritional deficiencies which have, you have to be really like you need your supplements you need that pea protein coming in and then it's a decision mm. like if you don't want to go down that road of too much supplementation and things then you need to so i found a balance i'm not 100% mm. a non vegetarian back again but mm. yeah mm. gradually introducing food groups again got it so i was go on i was reading up i was reading up somewhere uh, again of course not random read but uh, your thing uh, that you came back on the court in uh, 2020 june or july is that yes. correct okay See, enough yeah. and more research yeah. I do. So when you when you're back on the court, um, were you um, because I think I think it was a similar kind of time when you were also practicing veganism, and uh, also on the court playing badminton. And when you're mentioning about right, um, you need extra kick, you need extra protein, uh, which comes from the non-veg as well. Um, so how was it sort of managing, uh, especially because now you're back in uh, well, not completely non-veg, not completely. vegetarian mm. or vegan yeah uh, just to add did, did your strength take a hit so um it didn't actually it didn't take a hit mm-hmm. um mm. i was it had to be very carefully monitored like mm. i had to be carefully monitored through that period mm-hmm. i was on a protein a pea protein mm. uh, supplement a pea protein powder uh which had to mm-hmm. i had to make sure that it's informed sport approved wada approved because we are tested so that's the that's the thing with supplements mm-hmm. right when you start your b12 mm-hmm. b12 d3 is still fine because it's a it's a mm-hmm. you know it's legal but uh with the protein powders you have to be a little careful as to which brand you're consuming and all all of that so yeah my my nutritionist had to kind of work it out to make sure that you're meeting your uh, protein needs um also the thing that happens is that you end up um a lot of the food that you eat is also rich in carbs so if you're eating a dal or if you're eating chickpeas mm. or if you're eating it also comes with a carb content as compared to protein which is a like a chicken will have with uh, all the amino acids all essential amino acids uh yeah. plant proteins yeah. are incomplete in that sense so mm. uh in terms of recovery you are compromising uh mm. and also the caloric value Uh, so as long as you're super active and you're burning all of that it's fine otherwise you may end up you know if you're uh, you may end up on the heavier side if you're not burning burning those calories but uh, yeah strength didn't take much of a hit mm-hmm. correct and could you also walk us through 
how your how your diet looked like like how your entire eating day looked like when you were at a tournament like when you were at the peak of your uh, you know training how, how did your day look like food wise so when you are at the peak of your training it's uh, you look at food as fuel mm-hmm. it's not so much ki mujhe ye khane ka man ho raha hai mujhe uh, you know i'm craving a hmm. dessert at hmm. uh, 11 pm it's not so much about hmm. uh, your cravings or what you enjoy eating yeah. uh, the emotional side it's more about hmm. what do i need how do i recover that's if when especially when hmm. you're in that 6 8 weeks before like that training zone it's all hmm. pre pre workout post workout recovery raat ko sone se pehle casein or your you know your milk with something uh it's all about recovery it's all about performance it's all about performance enhancement and at that level mm-hmm. you don't want to do anything that's going to mess with that so mm-hmm. partying and socializing is that it's very minimal um so you know in terms of everything is monitored it of, of course depends on your goals there are some athletes who want to mm-hmm. use this training time to you know get lean and get uh, fitter or fit into a weight category or uh, there are some athletes who want to bulk up and gain muscle then their tra- plan looks different mm-hmm. but typically your everything revolves around pre workout uh, it's usually a um, you know a com- uh, something that's e- easily digestible like a quick carb it'll be like uh, anything that's like a toast or like boiled potato or oats or a banana uh, and usually post it's for recovery there's some amount of protein and carbs again because you need the protein carb fiber uh, your yeah. main meals are you know there's usually a lot of fiber there is a complex mm. carb like a brown rice or a quinoa mm. or buckwheat mm. um that comes mm. in as your uh, complex carb um during mm. training there's usually your sports drink you have your electrolytes you have your carb drink um during mm. matches you use things like gels which are caffeine based uh to and mm. the glucose and caffeine basically to give you that spike mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. yeah and then you have again your whey proteins and pea proteins and your vitamins and mineral supplements that come in uh, through the mm. day so it's it's a you know sports nutrition is very nuanced depending on every athlete mm. depending on your body composition depending on your goals yeah. time of season it has to you have mm. to work with somebody who is uh, knowledgeable in that discipline yeah yeah i i know i'll come to that uh, in in my next question as well because i was reading about the olympics and i was reading that all kinds of cuisines are available for athletes during the olympics uh, indians are getting most indian food on the menu there was this chole bhature basmati rice jasmine rice biryani butter chicken naan uh, on the menu and and i'm guessing the food is obviously made in bulk because there's so many athletes and of course not just indian there must be all other cuisines available so as you rightly said that every individual athlete has their own dietary needs yeah. uh, according to their body size according to their according to the sport they're playing uh, according to the culture they they're coming from, yeah. from uh, for example an indian might not eat beef correct, uh, correct. but an american might need beef for a match so h- how would how does that work at an event like the olympics where food has to be made in bulk uh, because everyone has a nutritionist right like how do you meet your specific ultra specific dietary needs as an athlete in, in such a big event like the olympics yeah so so to start with every athlete every athlete whether they accept it or not is a foodie at heart because over mm-hmm. the years you've been so mm-hmm. deprived of what you enjoy of what you emotionally mm-hmm. connect with you know that even if you're mm-hmm. even if you're saying it's a cheat meal and you're eating it you still it's at at the back of your mind that i've eaten a dessert today i need to burn it off tomorrow that is there mm-hmm. subconsciously it develops over the years so at an event mm-hmm. like the olympics we it's drilled into you like i remember at the uh, asian games village uh, you, like you said the dining hall is it's huge and there's every cuisine there's everything that you can ask for and it's very difficult to mm-hmm. actually put on your blinders and say this is good for me let me stick to eating mm-hmm. or you know like even when we go to europe for tournaments the the breads the mm. milk is mm. amazing it's mm. just another taste so mm. the bre- yeah, breakfast yeah. becomes like one session everyone looks forward to 6 baje uthke niche ja ke breakfast khana hai session practice session miss ho jayega but breakfast nahi miss karna hai yeah. the muesli yeah. the the cereals the everything it's just mm. amazing yeah. it's we 
yeah. and we love it but um, it's not you know that whole thinking that oh you you're an athlete you burn it off that's not what the the thinking is you know it's got it you can't have that thinking that i'm going to burn it off so it's not only about burning it mm. off it's also about mm. you know your state of mind how you're going to feel through that tournament week mm. um mm. you need you need to eat right and um, so now athletes are very very on board they usually we go with a plan uh, we have a travel plan that's a little different um, you know mm. and usually if if the nutritionist is good enough they know what is available in that country or at mm. a games village like mm. the olympics what is um, ava- yeah. going to be available in the in the dining hall um if you have uh, like some people are uh, you know anal enough to carry uh, their weighing scale like they measure out their food how much protein kitna oh, chicken wow. kitna broccoli kitna yeah. <laughs> so yeah. especially if it's a weight category like boxing or wrestling they need yeah. to be 52 yeah. 52 vinesh yeah. fogat has gone on record to say that i struggle to be in 52 but you know yeah and if you have a difficulty doing that then uh, mm. we carry like you carry your rice cooker you carry your smoothie maker you oh, wow. you don't go to that dining hall because it's too much temptation so <laughs> you just don't go you so, make your stuff carry your berries carry your dahi make your smoothie in the room and chup chap have it what That, do you carry um so it depends on the country like asian countries badminton usually mm-hmm. happens mm-hmm. in asian countries so a lot of the and a lot of my teammates um are from the south so they needed rice so we used to always have a rice cooker uh, amongst the girls we used to have someone carry the rice cooker mm-hmm. you can boil eggs in that um mm-hmm. so yeah that used to be uh, a, a kettle because i love coffee so uh i need i need that mm-hmm. kuch bhi ho jaye i need my kettle with me all the time uh, so stuff like that is is something you carry i carry a smoothie maker that's one of the easiest things to carry um but uh, i have one guju teammate who carries a f- box of 100 theplas so uh, <laughs> so that is something that i mean like for everyone uh, gujus carry for the whole team yeah <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so that that makes me think a question rather <laughs> <laughs> the uh, what is the point of uh, then offering all that delicacies from biryani to pizzas to what not uh, if you're going to carry your mummy ke haath ka bana hua theplas mm-hmm. and uh, a rice cooker usually when indians go abroad to wo apna cooker cooker leke jaate hain kc mein cooker leke jayenge gosht gosht chawal isme banega so what's the point of then is this like to ch- to actually test ki bhai dekho control kitna kar sakte ho khane pe tum डिसिप्लिन चेक करना है तुमको हाँ बट टूर्नामेंट के बाद वी वी मेक श्योर दैट यू यू टेक वन और टू डेज ऑफ स्पेशली लाइक इफ यू यू टेक वन और टू डेज ऑफ इफ यू डोंट हैव अ टूर्नामेंट कमिंग अप इमीजिएटली देन यू नो यू एक्चुअली allow your taste buds to cheat a little bit you be human for a few days you <laughs> enjoy your yeah. breads you enjoy your sushis uh, because that's also important <laughs> like i always say like there's yeah. a there is whether you accept it or not there's a food is uh, very like it has an emotional aspect to it so we need we need good food to feel good sometimes um yeah so if you've had a bad tournament take one day off eat something that you like to eat and then get back it's not jail at the end of the day yeah your your co-host told us that uh, i think he had a tournament in lucknow and after the tournament he went and had galauti kebabs and uh, chicken and what not i'll tell you this funny story at the premier badminton league yeah. this time we played in lucknow mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. uh, so this the day we reached like we had uh, you usually have teammates from all over like there was couple of them from korea couple of them from well, one uh, american uh, so they they all look forward to the naan the indian indian bread they love naan and they love butter chicken and the kebabs and so lucknow becomes this eating eating session like this eating campaign so the day we reached they all uh, dastar khan and all they make a list of the places they want to go to and uh, i remember shlok was also he was there with us and the amount that they have eaten the next morning none of them could practice they were just lying down like kal raat bahut kha liya on on that um 
Lucknow note, let me make you a long list of what all you should have in Lucknow and what all you must have and what all you should avoid. ये करने के लिए एक छोटा सा ब्रेक ले लेते हैं और तब तक हम लिस्ट बना के आते हैं तब तक बीच में सुनिए आप अमित को हेलो एवरीबडी ऐसा सुनिए आप ठीक है मिलते हैं ब्रेक के बाद वेलकम बैक ज्यादा अमित को नहीं बोलने दिया जाएगा आज और वे बैक हियर तन भी यहीं पे अर्चित यहीं पे और मैं तो खैदाबाद सुन रहे हो तो पता ही कि मैं यहीं पर हूँ लेकिन उसके बाद वेन यू वन वट हाउ डिड यू सेलिब्रेट एंड वट डिड यू ईट वट डिड यू ड्रिंक अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉटर या फेर एनर्जी ड्रिंक उसके अलावा वो काउंट नहीं होगा Or because you were in France, by the way. So I'm assuming you were in France. No, where were you? I was in Wales. This is. Uh, you were in the Wales, of course. Yeah, I was in Wales so, in Cardiff. Uh, Wales me Wales ke lava kya khaya apne? So. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 Karna padta hai. Papi pet ka sawal hai. Ganda ganda joke. Aa jata hai automatically. Kya kare sir? Mera sense of humour bahut acha hai. Aapko dhir dhir malum chalega. <laughs> तो वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेटली सो द अनफॉर्चुनेट सिचुएशन इन इंडियन स्पोर्ट इज सच दैट हमारी वापसी की टिकट इज यूजली बुक्ड कपल आवर्स आफ्टर द फाइनल्स और समटाइम्स ऑन सेमी फाइनल्स डे सो इफ वी रीच द फाइनल्स द आई मीन इफ वी रीच द बी विन सेमी फाइनल्स द फर्स्ट थॉट इज शिट आई नीड टू पे फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर मोर देन दैट एक्चुअली थाउजेंड डॉलर्स टू चेंज माई टिकट फटका बैठने वाला है फाइनल्स पहुंच के तो दैट इज द अनफॉर्चुनेट साइड ऑफ इंडियन स्पोर्ट बट थैंकफुली आई फिनिश्ड माई फाइनल्स ऑन आई थिंक इट वॉज ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एंड आई हैड टू पी एम बस टू कैच टू गेट टू दी एयरपोर्ट एंड एक्चुअली फ्लाई आउट सो आई एंडेड अप फास्टिंग टिल आई गॉट माई मील एट दी एयरपोर्ट वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेटली बट यू नो इन द इन दी एंटायर वीक सो दैट इज दिस दिस There are these three tournaments that we play: Scottish, Welsh, and Irish. And that circuit is um, it happens in this November, December time. So it's biting cold, it's windy, it's rainy, it's gloomy. But there are these flea market, food market sort of things that uh, that are very um, common in in these uh, European cities. So I enjoy going to these food, you know, these flea markets. And there's usually like some. hot there are the bunch of these uh, stalls with hot food being served as jacket potato or it's with beans that's one of my favorites or it's these crepes so crepes is something that again we if we three four of us will end up sharing one because you have to be careful too much sugar but uh, i call it the champions diet so uh, i remember uh, yeah that was something that i picked up before i boarded the bus to the airport because um that is something that is you know in that cold weather when they make that hot crepe and they put nutella on it uh it is like uh, it's just it's a champions champions diet like you if you carb load on crepes before the ma- before the tournament week you would be flying in the week so that is something that i uh, don't i i never miss that that is one thing i i never miss uh when i play those three tournaments i thought you will say um All these lands, and you had the tequila shot after your uh, <laughs> final was over. Like, first, actually, first to Germany, बोलते हैं कोई बात नहीं. First, and then you take a shot. शराब कौन पीता है? नहीं पीते. अच्छे बच्चे. Good boy. हम तो मतलब हमारे तो खैर कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं. हमने सिर्फ episode किया है शराब के ऊपर. हाँ हमने पूरा episode किया शराब. Oh really? Yeah. पूरा दो तीन कर दिए. दो तीन episodes हैं उसके ऊपर. Is so. you know th- i have an interesting question there so coming back to the g- games village some back to the olympics rather uh how's it like to live in a games village how's the atmosphere i mean sadaf and i <laughs> and most of our listeners i don't think uh, a- any of us will ever go to one uh, we don't have the abilities to be at one so just you know take us there like tell the us village or it. games village games village uh, village mein tum rehte ho ha you live in village no gurgaon <laughs> <laughs> 
it's a very good game so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah take us to a games village also is alcohol available at a games village alcohol abhi to bola dadu nahi pilta hai abhi bola nahi shiraz shiraz doesn't drink it but I, i'm just guessing orange juice will lega sports persons ke la स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन के अलावा और भी स्टाफ होता है वहां पे हु माइट वांट टू कंज्यूम अल्कोहल सो आई एम जस्ट क्यूरियस आ ऑफिशियली यू डोंट ऑफिशियली तो इट्स ऑल वेरी हेल्दी फूड या आई मीन प्रीटी मच सो द गेम्स विलेज पर से इज अ वेरी वेरी नाइस एटमॉस्फेयर बिकॉज़ यू हैव ऑल लाइक यू हैव बिसाइड्स द एंटायर इंडियन कंटिंजेंट लाइक यू हैव एथलीट्स यू हैव um squash badminton tennis all basically all the sports everyone's together so within the indian contingent you are actually mingling with uh you know sports persons who you don't generally meet uh you know besides yeah. your own teammates there are all the sports so it's a very mm. there gets very uh, this indian wali feeling like very patriarchal um mm-hmm. kind of you feel like a true like a soldier mm. would probably feel at the border you feel that very yeah. that proud sense ah. of thing but um wow. uh besides that you also get to meet athletes from different cultures different backgrounds um different uh, sports so it's a very um like sport at its best you know there are things to kind of entertain the athletes as well de stress there are uh, the whole thing of the olympic rings you do your photo shoots you have places to chill you have so there's food there's um, there's a spa there's usually you know something to de stress or you have like games happening you have events and marketing mm. stuff happening so it's a very lively atmosphere mm. so it's very important and of course how can i miss the opening ceremony big big event you, you know you're wearing the indian blazer mm. uh, you're part mm. of the uh, the you know the whole contingent so it's a very very nice uh, atmosphere um as a sports person to be part, i i think everyone dreams of uh, playing the olympics or representing the country at the commonwealth games the asian games these are the events when you actually mm. you know go as an indian, indian contingent and um, so yeah you feel mm. like you're a team team india that feeling very often in an individual sport you're traveling on your own or uh, you know it's a very you're living a lonely life but when you're part of this contingent it's quite a proud feeling so uh, that because you talk about the village and uh, uh, you also mentioned how you carry theplas and pressure cookers etc well not pressure but rice cooker um, and i'm curious because so there are so many people around there are so many athletes and i'm sure uh, you kind of meet them again and again the same kind of a people right not necessarily from from india but bahar se bhi jo log aa rahe hain so has it ever happened that you know i say aao chalo i say you open your thepla or say pakistan se kuch kebab aa aaye hain or china se bilkul unke se kuch kuch unke dishes aa gaye hain then you like chalo aise sanjha chula ban ke hum saath mein khayenge hamare thepla mein hum kebab lapet ke shezwan chutney la ke uske upar khane wale has it ever happened that so indians are known to a carry their food wherever they go and b share it so we're known to be very hospitable and we take pride in it Correct. so when 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 Correct. we when we, ho- we host two yeah. international tournaments in india one is in delhi one is in lucknow the worst places to have tournaments mm. because they have food food like food is <laughs> paradise so Correct. it's also it's good from a competitor's perspective because they come and get stomach upsets after eating all that masale dar khana which is good oh. for us so smart chatu chatu that's strategy so they they all all the europeans come they freak out on day 1 and then they have a stomach upset so which is good for us mm. not complaining ah. but um mm. but uh, what was the question sorry i went off track batao khane ke chakkar mein sawal hi bhul gaya sawal ye tha that when you are going out not ah, people coming how do we share do we share correct correct ah, yeah. so uh, yeah i mean um, i remember this one time i think it was uh, the asian ba- junior championship so we had carried our thepla poha whatever whatever packet ready to eat packets because um in in a lot of the asian countries um you know some of my teammates were vegetarians and they used to have an issue so cup noodles was like the go to thing so um uh some of them had carried their theplas and this cup noodles and whatever ready to make stuff and um, the japanese contingent they also carry a lot of their stuff so they carry their rice cooker they carry these uh, little sushi things uh, that are wrapped up mm. they are like you know ready to eat sushi 
So, uh, and they make their sushi. So, they are very, very well organized. They'll have this three, four people who will actually just be looking after the food aspect. Um, so, they kind of, you know, we just sat together in the dining area, one tournament. And um, I love sushi. Like, I um, enjoy Asian food. A lot of a lot of these stir fries mm. and a lot of this stuff. So there was one lady actually, two of two Japanese, I think the physio and someone else who had put the rice cooker. She was making the sushi, rolling it out on the mat, making some stir fry something and some boiled noodles. And we just had a little party of our own. They took our theplas, they took our poha, and we ended up having a little Indo Japanese meal. But it was quite cool. It was quite cute. Um, I, I could imagine like you say, uh, potluck. Potluck, absolutely. <laughs> impromptu, yeah. impromptu. So I have a related question, Tanvi. I was uh, recently reading about two athletes. Uh, one one's name is Barshim uh, and the other name, other's name is Tamberi. One from Italy, another from Qatar. They actually shared the uh, gold medal for the men's high jump at the 2020 or the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. And uh, it was it came out later that they've, they've been friends for a long period of time. So, they actually, they had a bond. So, they didn't mind sharing uh, instead of, you know, continuing the, the heat. And there, there are also examples of uh, teams, like for example, in the Ashes in cricket, the Australian team and the and the England team, they actually, they're fierce competitors during the uh, tournament. But after the tournament, they have a ritual of going out for a beer together all, and just, you know, putting aside all the differences, all the anger, all the sledging. So, do you have any rituals like these with your competitors uh, in the games village or is it always, you know, a, a very fierce equation between uh, your competitors? Uh, so, it's a yes and no answer to that, I think. Um, hmm. We do, uh, so to start with, especially if you're based at the National Centre for four and five and seven years, like we hmm. were, hmm. Uh, you end up, you know, you don't see your family at all. Uh, you are living with yeah. your competitors, you are seeing them every day in training, mm. you are eating with them. So, you do, they do kind of become family. Uh, your coaches become mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, foster parents. So, it does become, um, you know, they do become like your support system. So, you have to develop that friendship, that bond. But at the end of the day, it's also mm. the same people with whom you're vying for those three and four slots in the Indian team. So, uh, when mm. you're on court, it's a different ball game. The uh, The same people become like your enemies. You want to kill them alive. You do sometimes, when you're on court, you're very emotional. Uh, like, yeah. forget the world. You, it's, it's just you and, you know, your. Uh, it's mm. the end all of everything. So, you, you do sometimes yeah. end up with, you know, a fighting over points, over line calls. Uh, you do have your set of arguments and uh, your fights. But I think at the end of the day, uh, it's all in that sportsman spirit that uh, overrides everything. Mm. Sometimes you do see a mm. couple of rivalries like uh, that really go go down and they, they do become quite, uh, you know, not so healthy. Um, Even outside the court? Uh, yeah, it does sometimes carry outside the court as well. So we've seen a couple of those. Even now, it's in the it, it's been in the news uh, in badminton, the badminton circle. It's been in the news. Uh, but I think that's all. That's that's uh, overall. I think even in men's singles, we have about what ten of them in the top thirty now. Seven, eight of them at least in the top thirty, and they're all like vying for that those two or three slots in the Indian team. But they kind of, they train together, they have their fun together, they play football together, they drink together occasionally. Uh, but hmm. they're also, you know, when it comes to training oh. and um, when it comes to training and, you know, that uh, being completely in it when it comes to practice and traveling yeah. together and mm-hmm. being there for each other, then they're there for each other. So, what has been one Got of the it. most interesting uh, such story where you're traveling together with Indians and not uh, Indian people and um, something which is really like you're listening to music and Kishore Kumar and um, Bappi Lahiri and you're sharing your so music. So, that one's gossip. Gossip. I do. Gossip yeah. boy. Gossip boy girl. to not boy. Tell Interesting story. I think every tournament there was something. Um, every tournament, I mean, every tournament was uh, <laughs> something or the other to to bond with with your teammates. So, 
can't pinpoint any one fun story but i remember this one tournament in russia we were just four of us in this remote place in uh, in russia and uh, we were fed up of eating that russian food is very cold and bland and was terrible so there was this one uh, guy from the russian uh, indian embassy in russia uh so he called us over to his house at the end of the i mean it was semi finals day and we were fried and we wanted good food good indian like hot food and so he called us over and uh, actually like his wife cooked for us and that was pretty nice uh, <laughs> so we we ended up actually doing well in the finals because we were like mentally feeling so good but sometimes it becomes like end <laughs> you're on on tour for like 5 6 weeks and you know that cold um food starts getting to you uh but when you're traveling in asia it's fine you get everything um but these east european countries sometimes it becomes a little hard i oh, i remember once i was there in the same area the shamik ke pass pass and i was asking them uh, what am i eating by the way cuz it's <laughs> cold it is potato and it looks fried um <laughs> and then then there's rice and then some masala on top of it yeah. that and then there's some chicken gravy okay so i said okay what what am i having so this guy was like you're having chicken gravy like very good what's the name like chicken gravy i'm like pa pagal log naam kya hai iska then there's i'm surprised you understood potato. english otherwise they they shout back at you in russian no 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 but the guy the guy knew english the only thing that i learned about like only phrase i learned in russia was mino yavade proski yavade or gavade proski which basically means i don't know russian okay it was simple okay. they speak in russian and i'm like excuse me i don't to aisa hindi baat kare nahi as in english baat kare but the guy the other chap i am talking about he knew english broken english of course but he knew so like chicken gravy like there's fried potato so that is fried potato i'm like <laughs> जब गधे लोग हो तुम लोग यार <laughs> आलू वो so, भी फ्राइड बहुत अच्छे अरे तो फ्राइज किसको बोलते हैं फ्रेंच फ्राइज को उसमें किसको फ्राई करते हैं वड़ा पाव वड़ा पाव देखा बेस्ट वड़ा वाव वाव वड़ा पाव वड़ा पाव रिमाइंड मी हमारा आखिरी सेगमेंट ले ले क्या अर्चित साहब ले लेते हैं अच्छा जी चलिए अब आता है हमारा मोस्ट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सियल थिंग कॉफी विद कलन से भी ज्यादा कॉन्ट्रोवर्सियल है ये Oh, we would like to think that way. <laughs> so, hamper um, will get it, hmm, not? Hamper, uh, yellow. Just me will send. You can something. send me some vegan, uh, like sugar-free dessert. I'll accept that. Vegan what dessert? Sugar-free. <laughs> vegan sugar-free dessert. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Actually, yes, I, why don't you do a series on like sportsman-friendly cuisine? Like we'll okay. we'll all like. We we talk about like healthy food uh, in every episode. Uh, not vegan. Not vegan. No. Chalega. Healthy food. But like mm-hmm. a whole the the videos. I have a vegan put. recipe. I I can share a vegan recipe with you right away. It is. No, it doesn't have to be uh, vegan. Cake. Just has to be like healthy. It is vegan. It is healthy. It is gluten free. Grain free. Badia. Badia. Grain free. 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 <laughs> Basically, what you need it is also Japanese, by the way. Oh, what wow. you need to do is take some water. Okay. No, no, no. Don't go, boy. Now you are not coming. Are you? Legit dessert, hey, boy. <laughs> Legit dessert, hey. Don't go, don't go. So you take water. Then boil you it. put. No, no. Ha, you can boil it. Of course, you need to boil it. Usme stevia da. Are you? No. Are you? ऐसा कुछ नहीं है सस्ता दो रुपए टाइप का डेजर्ट नहीं बहुत महंगा डेजर्ट है ये उसके अंदर बिकॉज वीगन एंड वेजिटेरियनिज्म सो ऐड अगार अगार ओके नॉट जेलेटिन अगार अगार एंड देन उससे क्या होगा कि वाटर जो है जली बन जाएगा ठीक है एंड देन दैट उसको सेट कर लो अच्छा ठीक है बस और उसको फ्रूट्स के साथ खा लो पता था मुझे इट इज इट्स अजिट डेजर्ट आई एम नॉट के लेजिट डेजर्ट इट इज Some dew drop cake or something it is called. You can also add uh, any kind of like pea flower or whatever flower that you like, edible flower basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah. In that, and it looks really nice and pretty. I will send a. Uh, I will, for people who are who plan to make this dessert, uh, the the link may add I'll do a show link me yeah. show note me. Ah, uh, बना सकते हैं. I eat a lot of keto sugar free dessert, so I think now a lot of companies are launching keto ice creams uh, with stevia or erythritol. 
So yeah. yes. I, I can send you links. Um, you already know about them. Keto is a gimmick. And of course. Keto is a fad. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Strongly believe Definitely. it's a fad. Well done. Definitely. Kisine bola. But but ice cream is ice cream is anyway I, I'm guessing keto because it's just fat. Yeah. Uh, so you don't need, you need to call it mm. keto. Like even if it's just sugar free then sugar it's free. Correct. Anyway keto. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Dekha. Sab hypocrites bade pade hain. Ice cream sabko khana hai. Healthy bhi rehna hai. Hmm. Pade aaye. Are you agar mil sakti hai to khao. Nahi. Ice cream to chini ke sath hona chahiye. Khair. And so, almond almond cake. Like almond flour. Almond flour cake. cake. Very good. Yeah. So, so you want almond flour cake, but you don't want macaroons. I can have macaroons. So, वो तो बड़ा heavy, unhealthy होता है. उसमें तो शिनी जाता है. बिल्कुल भर भर के किलो को भाव में. Stevia से बनाओ. Stevia. वो नहीं बन सकता है. नहीं बन ही सकता है. Possible नहीं है. कोशिश करी आपने. पूजा डिंगरा को बुला लेंगे. अभी 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 दूध का दूध और macaroon का macaroon हो जाएगा. Done. पूजा डिंगरा को बुला के ये सवाल पूछेंगे. We'll have पूजा डिंगरा. We'll ask. Can you make? निकल जाएंगे अब तो जंगे होंगे अब तो रुको लाइक हेलो पूजा वॉट इज दिस बिहेवियर टू मैं सो देर वॉज दिस वन आई वी ट्रेन इन हैदराबाद राइट National mm-hmm. center was in Hyderabad, so again, land of yeah. biryani and kebabs and all of that. Yeah. So um, there was once a year uh, during Eid, during Ramzan. Uh, I mean, after Ramzan, um, we would uh, one of our coaches who was Muslim would call us over to his house and feed us the choicest like halim and the biryani and and then after that, like we we had told Mr. Gopi Chand, who was the national coach, that. what come what may like make this let this be our saturday session so that sunday we don't train we just digest all the food and then monday you can make us run because we are not in any position to play badminton we will run we will burn off all of that and then start our training from tuesday so it was a thing the end, we would actually look forward to that day because the food was absolutely amazing but yeah this was our routine yeah. sunday rest मंडे भागो ट्यूसडे को बैडमिंटन स्टार्ट करो दिस शुड बी द ट्रेडिशन बैडमिंटन वालों को या फिर स्पोर्ट्स पीपल को इन जनरल ऐसा ट्रेडिशन फॉलो करना चाहिए आई विल साइन अ पेटिशन ऑन चेन डॉट ओ आर जी एंड पीपल प्लीज प्लीज साइन और यू कैन ईट किनोआ बिरयानी इफ यू आर सो कीन आई हैव मेड किनोआ बिरयानी इट्स नॉट लेट्स नॉट गो देयर किनोआ बिरयानी आई हैव मेड किनोआ बिरयानी एंड इट इज ऑन YouTube एज़ वेल ओके Um, yes, um, we'll add it to the show. Yeah, <laughs> for people to uh, to cook quinoa and quinoa biryani, yeah. you can mm. make quinoa. So I have made quinoa biryani. I have made uh, brown rice biryani. I have made black rice biryani. biryani. Kathal biryani, toh? Kathal biryani, toh hai. But, matlab in grain wise, uh, mm-hmm. so there's quinoa, brown, black, uh, white, of course, and then the mixture of brown, black, white. So <laughs> I was working at a restaurant in uh, Delhi, and we were trying out. and i really wanted to do something like unique with the uh, biryani right so the cut of course it was a vegetarian by the way it was for a vegetarian restaurant um so we were like okay kya kiya jaye to humne kiya teenon rice boil kar liya black brown and, and white and it gave mm. such beautiful color because mm. and also uh, this was not that brown uh, colored biryani i wanted to make it, keep it like white mm. uh, so kept all the masalas white and mm. uh, it, it Looked really epic because the only which, brown thing in that was kathal. Ah, uh, which place was this? This if is. If you don't mind sharing, I, why would I? <laughs> this hmm. is a place in GK two called uh, hmm. Kiara. 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 It's okay. a all uh, veg fine dine restaurant. So. Gotcha. Ah, uh, chale jao. Paise paise de diye the usne. Toh toh tum log jaake khas karte ho. Under over pe aaye. Aa jaiye. Favorite. Under over pe. Ah. So. And most underrated food, Tanvi. From anywhere, actually, let's let's go with because you've traveled mm-hmm. the world and Russia clearly. Uh, yeah. Why why did I say travel the world and Russia for whatever? Reason? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like outcast. Outcast. No, yeah, I remember going for the visa. Um, Band kar ke visa hai jab tumhe pata bhi hai Russia ka visa. I remember going to Russian embassy. Unhone kya kiya ki bada ek to dungeon type ka hai, theek hai? You go, you go down, ground floor mein hai, aur gin ke char panch log ek baar ghuste hain. and then bahar se gate lock andar se gate lock then you go in you leave all your stuff behind 
दो लोग हैं काउंटर के पीछे दिल बिले की जजिंग यू सी है और फिर बड़े अलग अलग टाइप के पैसे भी हैं कि वो रशियन हैव टू बाय यू टिकट और समथिंग लाइक दैट पता नहीं कुछ है डू दे हैव वोडका इन द वाटर कूलर देयर आई विश ऐसी वहां पे हमारी देख देख के उन्होंने हमारे बिल्कुल वोडका वोडका पानी पानी कर दिया था तो हमने बोला कुछ पीना ही नहीं यहां से पता नहीं क्या मिला देगा खैर बैक टू ओवर एंड अंडर सो यस अराउंड द वर्ल्ड व्हाट इज योर मोस्ट अंडर रेटेड फूड Underrated food. Okay, I will stick to my Maharashtrian जीन material, which is um, mm. probably bhakris with some uh, green sabzi, like a methi sabzi or something. Like that is something that um, you know, no matter. Like especially when you've played four or five tournaments on the trot and you've been out and you finally come home, that is the one like soul food that you that I look forward to. Like mm-hmm. the jawar mm-hmm. ka bhakri uh, with some green sabzi on the side, like. Bas, jawar... Make millets great again. <laughs> Pata tha ne wala hai ye. So, ham basically ham ye campaign run kare. Uh, jiska naam hai Make Millets Great Again. So, isme jaisi aap jawar bajra kisi bhi type ka millet ke baare mein. So, wo automatically activate ho jata hai ye toh. Isko apne aap aaya tha. Zor bhi nahi pata. Reflex action hai ye. Yeah, yeah but. I I love Bhakri as well. It's it's I think one of the most favorite when I am in um, Maharashtra and not just Vada Pav. Just saying, I'll check. Yeah. <laughs> not just yeah. Vada Pav, but I do like. Um, and uh, overrated? What would you you overrated? Hey, hey, for for our for our North Indian listeners, jo, uh, Bhakri is Jawar ki roti. Yeah, yes. yeah, Jawar ki roti. Jisko jisko Jawari bhi bolte hain kafi log. Just saying. Hmm. Overrated. Um. Mm, anything keto? Keto desserts. <laughs> <laughs> keto desserts well because they are the yeah, most. Keto pani me. <laughs> I think keto desserts are like the biggest <laughs> sham. <laughs> they any, are any full of calories. Any particular dessert in India? Examples. A keto anything like uh, keto flour brownies, keto cakes, keto. <laughs> um mithais like it's full of fat it's full of everything that you shouldn't be eating <laughs> it's just keto so it sells <laughs> i think one more thing kale 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 is also i think very overrated like totally you yeah. like ye bhi keto wale hi khate hain yeah i think the worst is low calorie and keto together that is worse there's nothing that there's the lettuce then मैं क्या सोच रहा हूँ अचित कि कल से ना निहारी को जमा के बेचता हूँ एज कीटो डिजर्ट क्या बोलते हो होलरेडी कीटो बट टू मेक सर्टन थिंग्स इन टू कीटो इज ऑफन वियर्ड लाइक Like a nihari, if you don't have it with roti, it's already keto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have it like al- almond flour, like that. Make it almond flour roti. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And favorite. And favorite food. Yes, favorite. Favorite food is something that you had in a tournament. Will be chalega. Sushi. Ah, like sushi, while sushi, sushi, sushi. sushi. Even and before sushi. match, very good because it's just boiled rice and like minimal spice and carbs. So pre-match carb loading for yeah. perfect. Have you seen that Gaurav ka sushi video so far, Tanvi? Aale, this is going viral, we'll, yaar. We'll link it in the show notes <laughs> okay. and, and send it to you. And send it to you as well. Cool. It's going viral. Yeah. Cool. So it's basically uh, this guy Gaurav Kapoor. He's yeah, a comedian. Yeah. He's talking about h- how in in Delhi momos uh, when they came in few in in West Delhi. I mean, entire Delhi actually. When momos came to Delhi, now they like they were. Eaten like they are, they were originally meant to be eaten, but now they've turned into Malai chap momos, tandoori momos, uh, momos with hari chutney. <laughs> so he's saying that sushi ke saath bhi yahi hoga, yeah, yeah, tandoori haan. sushi banegi. Correct, correct, correct. Tipsy. Or Malai chap sushi, Afghani sushi. Yeah. That day somebody Kotka. sent me a Kutsi. menu, a, a recipe for quinoa sushi. I was like, just this was left now. This was yehi din dekhna tha. <laughs> क्या 
Uh, one, of course, um, that you like quinoa a lot, it seems. Um, <laughs> and you have dessert as well of quinoa, I believe. Like pop it in the microwave and stuff like that. And uh, mm-hmm. second, you also like uh, smoothies. And you strongly believe people should invest in a smoothie uh, maker. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> first, share a favorite smoothie recipe. And uh, second, share a favorite uh, quinoa recipe. Not quinoa biryani, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay. So, um, I think smoothie recipe is a strawberry. Anything with berries. Um, strawberries, blueberries. I mix them up. Uh, add some Greek yogurt. Um, stevia if I'm really wanting that extra sweetness. But usually it's it's berries and Greek yogurt. That's my go-to. Uh, pre-match, post-match. Uh, rich in antioxidants, rich in that little bit, gives you that little sugar that you like post a good match. So, and the Greek yogurt, of course, has high protein. So, perfect meal. Um, In terms of the quinoa, I think uh, quinoa sushi is something I need to try. But otherwise, it's always... So, dal kichdi was another thing uh, that I would use pre-match. It was my lucky Mm -hmm. food. I would eat it morning, evening, like lunch, dinner for the whole tournament week. Dal, kichdi and Love palak. It. it was like standard. I didn't even have to tell the waiter beyond a point because there was one restaurant. Every tournament, I'll find one place, my dal, kichdi will be set. Uh, so, I, I, maybe with quinoa, I do the same now that I'm using quinoa, quinoa, uh, kichdi with palak. Yeah. That's like my lucky food. I will not mess with it when I'm in India playing tournaments. <laughs> Fantastic. Quinoa kichdi does taste good. I yeah. have made it and I have, um, I can mm. certify that it does taste good. Um, so yeah. With, yeah. with or without pickle is your choice. Yeah. Uh, but it tastes good. Yeah. Also, I also have a, sorry, go on. I'm saying also with or without ghee is again your choice, but it tastes good. Then it becomes keto and uh, I don't know what it, what it becomes because it so has the fat. It's just become awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. That's it. <laughs> For our listeners, I have a tip. Uh, if you want Greek yogurt, you actually don't have to fly to Greece. It's it's stunning, uh, you know, this actually. revelation. You can you can actually make it at home. I you can have to remove the pa- pani from the dahi and you have Greek yogurt. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to take a cycle to Greece. It's going to be Greece yogurt. On an unappetizing note. Let's <laughs> 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 Yeah, let's shut shop. <laughs> <laughs>